Welcome back, everyone. Philadelphia City Council passed a bill this weekend that will force beer delis to comply with state law. Asian business owners call the measure a kill bill, referring to a provision that could eventually call for the removal of bulletproof barriers. Cherry Gregg of KYW News Radio took a tour of the so-called stop and goes to see what the controversy is all about. This is Kenny Seafood and Steaks on Wayne Avenue. When you go inside behind large plexiglass barriers, there's beer, tobacco products, and single servings of medications for sale. You see a number of different cigarello products. Councilwoman City Bass sponsored oh, the bill to support beer delis like Kenny's to comply with state liquor laws that require seating for 30 and an accessible bathroom. This does not fit the requirements of being a restaurant. Kenny's owner, Jeff Liu, admits they sell little food. What do you sell the most? Uh, beer sodas. The Asian American Licensed Beverage Association strongly oh, opposed yeah. rallying near City Hall. Their beef? The bill gives licenses and expansions power to create rules for possible removal of the plexiglass barriers in 2021. Our city needs bulletproof glass, not a violence, not a blood. Chang Moy's son luckily was gunned down in their South Philadelphia shop. More people in the die again. She now has plexiglass and members of ALBA believe removal of plexiglass will push them out of business. So what do you say to the business owners who claim that this bill is race discrimination? I really don't care what race they are. <laughs> oh my God. Yo, could you imagine somebody telling some niggas that some niggas complain about something and some white person be like, I really don't care. Right. Could you okay, that, okay. Imagine that. Yeah, I could imagine it actually. She's evil, man. Tough luck, kiddo. They are. They could be burple for all I care. What we care about is taking care of our citizens, taking care of our, our communities. And this is a business model that is completely unacceptable, no matter who's running. Bass says the bill, which Mayor Kenny is expected to sign, is not about the glass. It's about stopping the sale of beer, blunts and more. But what they really are are places that you can buy products to get high. She says their goal is not to shut down the delis, but to get them to stop selling addiction producing products that oh, black my. people love. Fucking God, bro. That, that black people love, love, love. Stop selling these products that the people want. Stop. Stop making money of selling products that people actually want to buy. Y'all can believe this. A controversial bill in Philly would force business owners to take down bulletproof glass. The Philadelphia councilwoman pushing this move is apparently concerned that the security measures hurt shoppers' feelings, saying, quote, we want to make sure there isn't this sort of indignity, in my opinion, to serving food through plexiglass only in certain neighborhoods. <laughs> you know, she hates the fact that there's Asians that own a business in the black neighborhood anyway. Oh, yeah, definitely. Without a doubt. Yeah, Without a doubt. If, if they don't own it, nobody is not going to be a business there, bro. Niggas aren't no. going to build a business there, bro. They not. And these people have that plexiglass there for a valid reason, for safety. It The only way they can operate in that area is with the plexiglass there. So sons won't build the business themselves. These people come in and build the business, but they got to be safe so that your sons don't kill them over... Fucking a bag, a, a blunt, or a bag of chips. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, you sold me the, you sold me a, you sold me a bag of hot Cheetos with only, with only three chips in there. Right. You want to take my ABT card? Bang. Oh yeah. So how many times have we seen sons destroy the whole store because their EBT card declined, as if it's the person's fault behind the counter that their card declined? Sick. Yo, some people, it's like we don't care about putting other people in position where it's like, it's no win, bro. You don't want to build a business, but you want to put them in the position to where anything can happen to them because they're in this violent-ass area, bro. It's no win, to, bro. She has to know, right? I, that sister, she knows that she's putting but them she in danger. She said she right? don't care. Didn't you hear? But she, she knows. She don't that. care. Mm -hmm. 
Well, you saw what the Sun Woman did to Jose Alba when he when the EBT card declined. I saw what he did. And, to uh, and Trump uh, Trump showed up there and was cheered. Yeah. This now with her reaction. How do you even know if build if a business has has bulletproof glass? You can't tell the difference. Yeah. Well, this is just ridiculous. Uh, this councilwoman's priorities are totally twisted. This is about the safety and security of the employees in these high crime areas. Maybe and who was she to come in to dictate to these small business owners, these mom and pop stores? who can perhaps only afford these plexiglass or bulletproof glass to protect their employees. Who is she to come in from the government and say, you shall do this because we say so? It's, it's outrageous. And by the way, the, the owner of this uh, broad deli who they want to take the glass down from says the bulletproof glass in the store was installed after a shooting and it saved his mother-in-law from a knife attack a little bit later on. So, I mean, is there a chance that these people just want to survive and thrive? Rich, uh, Rich writes this. Uh, he's the owner of a deli there. He says if the glass comes down, the crime rate will rise and there will be a lot of dead bodies. Yeah, and he makes a great point. I mean, the criminal knows that there's no plexiglass there to protect the employees. It makes it easier for them. You and I ride in taxi. Yeah, but white criminals in white neighborhoods, if you took the plexiglass, first of all, they don't have plexiglass everywhere in white neighborhoods. You don't have plexiglass everywhere in those neighborhoods. What is that telling you? That the only place when every store you go into, mom and pop store you go into, and then even, I told you I went to Target in Maryland, in PG County a couple months ago, and the socks were under lock and key. I had to go find the manager to get a pair of socks. Ain't PG County one of the most uh, well-to-do, yeah. like, uh, uh, nigga counties it's, it's second second to the um to charles county now but yeah it, it's it's the second most affluent black county in the country you get and, no and, relief anywhere in the target you gotta go find the manager to get a pair of socks think about that it just it is it, 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 in new york is is no no economic class it, it just doesn't it doesn't matter the money doesn't change us bro yep work all the time they have plexiglasses right. in some of these uh, cabs to keep the driver safe. There's only a little slot for them to put the, the receipt through for you to put your credit card through. But listen, Does this that is, make you feel bad. But, but going back to the piece, Who gives a fuck about how it makes you feel, man. Black people always worried about stupid shit. How something makes you feel and shit. The fuck? They value like, their feelings over human fucking life. <laughs> that nigga shit. like, yo, this shit saved my life. These niggas like, but yo, damn, bro, like we black. Stop trying, stop making us feel bad. It's it's just it's it's insane, man. Yo, he it's more like him. stopping us, stop us from threatening you, so you give us what we want, bro. And it's crazy, bro. He like, yo, I say, I say my, it say my mama. You know how black people feel about their mama. Why, why he can't want to protect his own Asian mom, bro? Mrs. Kim, bro. I right, know. This shit crazy, man. Black folk do not care, man. The woman literally said it. She does not care she didn't even she didn't even try to like fake it she said i don't care <laughs> i mean and, and we're the only ones that get to get away with that too tell some niggas you don't care about something they said you branded a racist you fired <laughs> We need programs in our community. We don't care. It's crazy, okay. man. It is absolutely crazy, man. Um, and I'm telling you, man. Um, this is when you when you think about when you think about um black people and 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 it having a store in a black neighborhood. How um how um hard it is like think about it like 
it's just it's just hard. we are hard people to do business with man 